makes sense, right? Let's try here. I'm good. Let's just go back. Let's go this one, I guess. Automated forward station deployment. There is a dead person looking around, uh, lying around. Data key, specialist engineer Aman Kathari. Chased down by what he was studying. The death toll between the two outposts must have weighed on everyone. Okay, let's get in. We got this point here. This is great. Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that <gasps> Drac? Whoa, whoa, what is this angle? Cat, stay sharp. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Hell yeah! Thank for clearing up the sky. Had Our your number all quick. wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> just point me to your ship and try to keep up. You just right on time. I'm actually looking for a new daddy figure, so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. We can work with that. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. So let's activate an outpost beacon. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Opinions, team? What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? I say military. There's too many threats out here. Be advised yeah. that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Uh, Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. I go with scientific. 
I don't want to make this like a military through and through thing. Like, this shouldn't be the first thing we stand for. And by the way, I mean, Cora is right. There are a lot of threats out there. But this is what I'm here for. And I'm not good with scientific, so let's fucking go scientific outpost. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Exactly. I think it was a level up sound. I like the sound. When I'm correct, it was a level up sound. I will find out soon after this loading screen. Andromeda Initiative. This is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. <laughs> We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. <laughs> Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. One step ahead, two steps back with your lady. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point... from the vault. Now, it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. There is Later, nothing we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Eh. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. I forgot what her game was. I don't know, like, like there was options, t like, telling her she's ultra-manipulative. I, I don't remember her that good. I don't know if this is actually true. Ah, an outpost! Woo! Isn't it pretty, guys? Isn't it pretty? Where's the green symbol standing for? Search for memory trigger. Uh, no. But but the green one? Huh, not sure. Well, check out. Let's go down here in a way that prevents us from dying. I, I'm not sure if it's like the right way for that. Ah, fine for me. Okay, where are my exclamation marks? There is my exclamation mark. What time is it? Oh, yeah, a little longer. At least talking to the people here. Checking out this question mark. Maybe there's an exclamation mark first. What happened here? Did I run into an invisible wall? I don't know. She was doing weird things. Sometimes she's doing weird things. Oh, okay, this is definitely the memory. It's a sparkle, sparkle memory. Let's go for it first. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to talk to you. Can I can I talk to the memory first? <laughs> Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Let's not drive people too hard. 
Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions? Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. True. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Oh, that was it? Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on EOS after you get back. But I want to talk. About you, maybe. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. So your job doesn't require the others, or do you intentionally avoid them? The initiative was smart enough to limit the obstacles between its people and jobs that need doing. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. I right, you made your statement. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I joined the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. It's a shame we drift apart like that. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. Or we don't. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. <laughs> what is that? Stay out of people's grief? You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? <sighs> I let it. And my people stay out of it when I do. And I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? I never heard that this thing before. That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. I never heard of this saying before. Is this really a saying? What can you say about the Padromos block? Exacting bunch, as the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of claims for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. All right, we'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that, when shooting doesn't have to start. All right, I guess. Good D! Uh, exclamation mark where? Ooh, loot first? An exclamation mark? Nope. Hello, Ryder. Ah, you're the exclamation mark? 
Nah, I think they just wanted to say hello. Hello, right. <laughs> I think everyone just wants to say hello. Is there an exclamation mark in here? Ooh, activate. Formal request for Darkid Terrain number 28. Making a request again, Bradley. I know it's not your fault. I know she's to be she's supposed to be second wave, but I want a trail so that when all this comes down in a few years, we can get proper outrage about how long it took to reunite families, especially ones hurt during the side wanna have mass, you know, broken promise is a thing, right? What what are we talking about here? Requesting the development of Dark Intervene W840 Crispin. Access study specialist, reason she's an asset that will have viability, she's also my daughter. I I upload that. I speak with Addison's assistance on the Nexus about that. Ah, okay, I see. Nothing here. Okay. And I think it was the only thing here as well. Okay. Hello, merchant. Ooh, I like merchants. Have something interesting for me. No. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. Great. Working well so far. Ah, my items. Okay, okay, my items are over there. Never mind then. Look nice. Damage resistance. Ah, okay. You only have a helmet. You know what? I take it. Can I sell? Sell or salvage? Okay, yeah, that would be nice. For first things first. I actually had a lot of it. I have the initiative helmet twice. I really don't need the initiative helmet twice. So... Alright. Maybe it was the same with the rest. Oh, oh, I have nothing to sell here. Oh my god, I still wasn't down. Ah! I'm sorry. Okay, same goes here. I really don't need things double, I think. Unlike in, like in Mass Effect 3, I think it was. I can't... Maybe already in 2, I don't know. I can't give my squad mates weapons if I got this right. I really hope I'm not wrong about that. Otherwise, I buy you new ones. I buy you all new weapons. Um, but if I get this right, right now, I, I'm the only one like that can use weapons to buy or find somewhere. So I really do not need them twice. Do I have them? I'm, I'm a little confused. Pistol mods. I definitely had the shotgun mod twice. Yet really stuff. I uh, nah, nah. nah nah. Okay, I keep you probably. Okay, what do you have when it comes to weapons? Not so much, but maybe. Okay, no, only melee optimizer. Never mind me. I have a better pistol. I'm not really using a pistol right now though. So, in conclusion, you don't have that much. I, I like the shield thingies. Sure, give it to me. But only one? Sounds like not enough. You have minerals? Oh, I have minerals. You don't have minerals. You hardly have anything, which kind of makes sense. Because you're the very first merchant in the game. Um, I just wanted to say it out loud to realize that I'm already done here with you. Thank you so much for your time. There was... Oh, no, I had a... Uh, yeah, here, with the question mark. There was another exclamation mark as well. Okay, uh, here. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Already getting requests from the Pedromos labs. Is this way over here? I hope so. Looking good so far. Ah, something else looking good. I hear people talking, but only their <laughs> only their subtitles. Uh, in here? She said just walking in. Yeah, that looks promising. What do we have here? Please help! That's a good start for a Pathfinder. And this is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about that remnant tech. They think the initiative's lying about how dangerous it is. That a couple of electrodes in the right place could get a remna remnant to work for them instead. They tried before and I helped out in the med bay when this remnant of service carved up Barty. But Jennings says we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taken the whole work crew to help him this time. 
I have to go with them. Maybe I can talk Jennings out of it, but if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Damn. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's an incredibly bad idea. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Can I first? I'm still not sure. Okay, the research station. Maybe that was also investigate the map by Ah, okay, okay. Find a work rose. Rose, rose, rose. Mm. Research station. You must have put a question mark. Alright, uh, let me choose this question. Eee, speak with Edison on the Nexus. Shock treatment. Ah, okay. It is you. Let's go. Let's go and talk to them. Going back to the other side once more. Boop. Ow. God, the water looks a little unhealthy. Oh, wait, what are you? Are you unhealthy too? No, you're a terminal. Do you have something interesting for me? Huh. Quarantine, quarantine, best practices. Please remember that everything shipped to the landing pad, especially from off world rather than sealed nexus supplies, must go through quarantine procedure via confined observation, observation spot testing, bacteriological. That's a big word for little rose. Scans or radioactive sterilization. We are new. Uh, we are a new presence on ears, and everything added to the ecosystem will have an effect down the line. Our job is to make sure it's it's a beneficial one. And strong quarantine practices will really help us out. Hayley Abrams. Added them if anyone tries to tell me or Hayley that your shipment's a special case and you don't need to bother. You'll be running quarantine twice. Bradley. <laughs> I like Bradley. And hello, Andrew. It's been a Friday to you. Good to see you. I hope you're doing good. I am doing fine. I just helped to get our first outpost, outpost on our first planet here. And this is great. If you shouldn't know the impact of it, this is great. <laughs> Radiation alerts for shuttle pilots. The vault do hickey might be clear in the atmosphere, but we still got pockets of high radiation and bad weather across the continent. Telepresence. T telepresence updates. Zones 10 to 12 are still smoking hot, but zone 8 is showing a drop. Watch your shuttle's radiation shield observation. They can take up to 900 second MSV per hour. Not sure what that means. Safely. Anything more and you need to head back for a refit. And remember that if you're carrying power cells or radiological equipment, those can throw your readings off. Make sure you're as safe as you think. Pilot McReady. Is this really your name? <laughs> Today's flight schedule. 600 to 800. Weather monitoring sweep. 1200 to 300 geographical survey flight. Sign up early, you'll use your equipment slots. 1500 to 1700 retrieving team Sigma plus plant specimens. 2000 to 2200 high altitude atmospheric OB airs with a time slot for astronomical survey. Oh, that sounds romantic. Looking at the stars a little bit with a scientific background, of course. Uh, maybe I should use these stairs. Like the upstairs stairs. Woo. Hello. I'm not here for you, I'm here for you. Hello. Ryder. August said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but... Let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August. Bradley, and when he signed on to the initiative, he suggested I consider it. This seems like a better frontier. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? 
I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. That's nice. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. Ah, bros. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. I would prefer this too. I think I need to scan your little thingy here, though. This equipment appears to have been definitely missing. treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I need more data to form a conclusion. I get it. Uh, Victor Carson, Mr. Josephs. I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credit. I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from career stasis. Career stasis? It's getting late. And send him to Prodromos. Pro pro <laughs> it's getting really late. <laughs> but you're dead. From what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know all about the prank you and mr carson pulled on everett before the journey to Haliers. victor carson will be released from stasis when i see fit and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set and if i hear you've gone over my head and spoken to edison about this you'll have me to answer too yeah you'll have me to answer too administrator brecker okay whatever happened there case note number 24 dr ramirez patient id 024 symptoms condition Acute insomania, acute insomania claustrophobia. Details on examination, no orga organic underlying cause. Apparently suffered a mechanical failure when coming out of stasis to slugged her in the pot. Oof. Clearing a psychosomatic case, but sometimes are acute. A prescribed traxboxin and VR post-stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks, personal notes. I'm seeing several cases of post stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The tacky soft a lot of the physical effects of long term stasis, but we're clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. Should talk with Hanley about a long term research initiative. We're first for a lot of things. I like that. That he actually cares about like the psychological effects of it. Case notes, number 76, Dr. Ramirez, patient ID 026, symptoms condition, multiple leg fractures, details. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jump jets failed to fire, mm, how unlucky. Compound fractures to the right leg, severe sprains to left ankle. Patient showed an allergic reaction to anesthesia, so I borrowed August. He doesn't like it when you call him this way, man. And a couple of engineers to hold 076, uh, 076 down while I set the legs. Application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia followed. Personal notes, noisy day, but hopefully an object, an object lesson to the rest of us. To the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. Patient is healing nicely. Should be falling off roofs again in a week. Hopefully with a working jet then. Okay, off to the other building. Ooh. What? Is it upstairs? Yeah, upstairs again. One more way. Hello. Who are you? You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Oh, shit. You're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I'm Fox, chief engineer at your service. I made him a little nervous. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnant are a wild card. 
But I hear you almost have that solved, which is uh, amazing. Uh, working on and it. And you found us a good site here. I, uh, I think Eos is really going to be special. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff, unless you've ever lived without it. <laughs> I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. Oh. And the initiative was my best chance. That's a um, cute reason. Thanks for asking. Oh, he's a nice guy. I like him. Bye, Fox. Bye. Stay safe out there. I'm a little sad we'll probably never talk together again. Because you, you, you worry. Side character, man. Scratch pad, login, chief engineer Kane Fergs. Fergs, Fergs, I actually stuck to you. I know, I already forgot how to pronounce your name. This file is filled with sketches, annotations, and exploded schematic views. Many are focused on a combined road monorail network for EOS, showing several different but brilliant designs. Always good to go back to the old standby when I need to think. Underneath are several doodles shown elegant redesigns of the Nexus tram system map. Past it to one side are a number of downloaded statistics on predicted population growth over the next century. Got a baseline. Probably is always good for the numbers. Adjoining the statistics is a plucked out simplistic drawing of prodromers, dotted lines showing expansion with detailed squares of water and sewage lines on a crying wireless power routers and the flow of food traffic. Sloppy but it's a start. He was absolutely correct. This is very boring. <laughs> like these are you know, all his brilliant ideas and he's really into it but maybe it's because I'm actually getting a little tired but only reading this out loud is very very tedious <laughs> on the other side is the sketch is a pathfinder helmet with downloaded notes on material testing and safety regulations design fundamentals look sound no need to worry all right hey from the nexus forks uh, how is it there I hope Bradley has things up and running smoothly. I know you guys could do it. Tell me all about ears. It's boring here, so I have to live vicariously through you. As for the advice you ask for, just be yourself. I know how you get when you're nervous. The special lady will like you a lot more if you just relax. You got this body. Good luck, Alice. Oh, who's the special lady? I would like to help connect him with the special lady as well. Work roasters, week two, water cars, repair team, Kane Fork, team leader, Lorelei Smith, maybe she's the special lady, water pipes, Matthew Kinson, VI reprogramming attachment, curse damage sheet, HSM, weather monitoring device setup, Axel, 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 Jennings team leader, CL Varex, Jamie Kisberic, attachment, monitoring device, logs, hey, HSMM. Just tell me what, what work I need. Rosters. You know. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go. Cool. Can I do a fast travel there? And he's in a monolith. Oh, okay, it's actually very nearby. Um, yeah, no fast travel there. I need my car, maybe? I mean, actually, yeah, we can walk there. Never mind. Definitely we can walk there. Is it safe enough here in this area now? Do I still have to worry that my life support will... My, my not existing life support will kill me? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Can I make it there? I would probably regret this. Yeah, it's sinking. It's actually sinking. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I try to avoid as good as possible driving around, just walking everywhere. You know, I like to take Radiation walks. Within safe levels. Maybe not during ready in, in, in radiation areas. Where's my car? I can't see it. I see the tempers. Ah, there you are. Boop. Let's go. But I'm worried about everyone walking around here now. 
try to be careful. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Oh shit, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already had six wheels. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Driving around a little somewhere else. Okay, but I'm already out of the cell now, so I'm sorry. Yee! Of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. Ooh, let me see it. Ah, let me scan it. Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Damn it. We've oh, got to find it. them before they get themselves killed. Where, where are them? Uh, are they? Are them? Oh my god, this is so far away. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's my car? I didn't see there was a timer. I was still in scanning mode. Fuck's sake. Can I, can I make a fast travel? Is there a fast travel point nearby? There is a fast travel point nearby. Okay, we're doing the fast travel. I, I, I don't know how much time this consumes now. I don't know if that counts. But before I found my way down here, I saw only rocks right in front of me. So much. He means well. That's great. He doesn't get under my skin. Wait, does he think I'm upset? I think I just gained the upper hand. Or I think I know where they are. Are there this question mark? Yeah, I know exactly where you guys are. Help us, please. Hey, obedient, right? Oh shit. Oh, mistake! Talk to me and explain me what's going on here. Speak to the survivors, I would love to. Ah! Come back! You're apparently the one I need to talk to. Oh, I don't want to stab you, I'm so sorry. On my way. Okay, whoever wants to talk to me, can we talk? Great timing. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> so much for not buggy at all. The remnant didn't work out. Huh. Okay. Squeal. Gas brick? Yeah, I bet. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? I have a super intelligent AI, and enough experience with the remnant to be careful. 
Jennings, this isn't working. We tried. Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm completed. I'm happy I was able to help here. Level 7! Mmm, skills! Four more skills. I think I really would like to complete fitness as soon as possible. Oh yeah, weapon rape capacity sounds great. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving actually for the next time. How about my ladies? Two more. We could go with Nova. Or what do we have here? Power damage, power force. You know what? Nova sounds good. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun with your Nova. Yeah, we have two as well. Maybe conclusive shot for you. Conclusive. Conclusive shot here. Alright. And I'm saving mine. Okay, yo. We still have this thing over here, but I'm pretty sure I still can make it because radiation. This is sort of thing. I'm still waiting for radiation to go down. Give AOS radiation time to clear. Yep, 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 yep. That's sort of thing. Um, I will be back. With less radiation, that being said, I think I don't have anything else to do here right now. I mean, it was actually a lot bigger than I thought. Like, I could could explore over here. But worst case scenario, I can't do things here. Because the radiation is, is still extremely high. Um, So we just make back a fair stuff and then go back to our ship. We saved these guys and now it's time for us to leave Ayers for now. And maybe also time for me to end the stream soon, for now. Because I'm getting tired. Yeah. Maybe a little quick... Some quick targs on our ship. Oh god, they're not quick. <laughs> targs on a ship in Mass Effect yes. games are never quick. Oh, what? Life support is stable. Life support Thanks. is stable. For letting me know. Nomad is ready to deploy. Good for the Nomad. How do I get to my ship again? Ah, okay, there we go. Return to the Tempest. Pretty, please. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmore. All clear. Guys, you're really getting late. I mean, it's weekend, so it's fine, but I'm not used to <laughs> do things that late in the evening anymore. Ah. It's okay. I, I knew I would do it a little longer. I would stream a little longer today because, like I said, it's a Friday. And because I'm really enjoying this game, but yeah, I'm getting tired. So please, loading screen, hurry up. I still, I still don't want to stop. I still would like to do one or two things. But the longer you need, the later it will be. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Any thoughts, Ryder? I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't and die. Confronted he, by no, Ket no one at died every because of turn. It, no one. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call <laughs> success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? Damn, girl! <laughs> okay, okay, I mean, he's broken. He likes stuff. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. <laughs> so what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop, meaning we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. 
Sounds good. <laughs> if there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? <laughs> okay. Let's see, I head really, back to the Nexus. I really liked my Maybe draft. Already see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Oh, she's still learning the ropes. How to be a great Pathfinder. But see, I really, and I'm so looking forward to spending time with these guys because I remember I enjoyed my crew so much back in, and uh, during my first play with Andromeda. And I got so much shit talk. We talked about this earlier today in the stream, like like people being way too harsh on Andromeda back then. It was so nice and I'm really just, just having these little moments here. I'm so looking forward to all the moments that are still left to come. Sounds like the perfect last words for today's stream, but like I said, I just don't want to stop yet. What is this? I didn't really have a chance the last time to look around on my ship. I was walking through a door, all of, all of a sudden, I triggered a cutscene, and then we were already in air, so <laughs> let me poke around a little. <laughs> No calls available. Well, that hits at home. <laughs> ah, I like it this way. Please don't call me. I hate being called. Hey, can we you call this the, the research lab? room? You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. I know what a research. Oh, wait, what was that? That was not a research room. Oh. oh. Weapons. Mm. Can I compare them? So what I have, compare. Oh no, compare was off? Uh, okay, compare is on right now. Really? It doesn't seem this way. more damage but the rest is very eh got it so much heavier no nah, i don't think so um you have no armor uh, armor i i really don't know how to pronounce it no you don't have any armor from armor <laughs> it's, not, it's not getting better the later it gets okay research center do i have enough points to do something no i actually do how about some this stuff? Some and seven arms. Okay, I have to start with the one first. It makes a lot of sense. Hyper guardian legs. Are these better? Hyper guardian chest. Hyper guardian helmet. Maximum health and shield. Okay, I like the sound of that. Okay, these are for health and shield and the end seven. Ooh, also biotic power, but honestly, I I, I, uh, I don't want to die. I don't like dying. Can I do all of them? Like, uh, one? Do I have enough of them? I mean, I can research them, sure. I think will be enough for that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, maybe I was right. I didn't really check the numbers, I just started clicking. Okay, I have to hyper guardian everything on one. Let me see, what is the rest here? Uh, how about the weapons? Sandstorm assault rifle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I'm sure the comparing works here. Because now it's clearly off. Okay, now okay, now it's off. Now it's comparing it to the other one. I'm using right now. This is actually not better. Oh, I can't afford it anyway. Never mind me. They were all highly expensive. I only have 55 left. Well, never mind. Good luck later. Ah, this is also stuff. Oh, he's here? Remnant technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got this part. A 55 is really not that much. And now I should be able to... Initiative chest, Pathfinder chest, Hyper Guardian chest, exactly. Um, I don't have TI, whatever this is standing for. Do it? Can I do anything? No, because I don't have TI. Bummer. 
Do I need TI for everything? Where do I find it? I think I can buy it? S sell buy it? I have an idea that's what I want. Wasn't I able to wait? Okay, this is very interesting right now. Hey, we're, we're very close to the end of the game. Let me do some advanced inventory management. Ah. Ah, titanium. Okay, this is what it stands for. Wait, do I have only one now? One of 100. Okay, yeah, I really... I think I need a little more. How much money do I have? I will be broke after I did this, so maybe, uh, no, there, there should be easier ways to find this stuff. I think. I need like 20, for fuck's sake. Okay, I really need to find this stuff. Somewhere, somewhere else. What is with you here? Agility mode. Like on something else here. Okay, never mind. God, I'm low on resources. Is this a thing? Is this a thing right now? I'm low, 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 low on resources. Well, let me talk to some people. To forget about that. I, I think that is an engineer's oh. dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Okay. Oh, strike team missions. I remember this stuff. Kinder. What happened to the last one? I think I did one. Established supply depot. Did it work out? Nice! Mission successful! Not sure what I did there, but mission successful. Recovery supplies. Poor weather conditions, alien presence, remnant. Three words. Sure. Send a strike team. You got this. I, I know. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't collect it, I got credits. What for? Oh, titanium! How much? How much did I get? Six. I could buy four. And I could do one thing. Ah, oh, maybe I just don't. Okay. <laughs> Are you something? No, you're, you're kind of pointless here. Hello, ship! Where is everybody? If you're looking for me, I'm in the escape pod room. Yeah, I don't know where this room is, and I am realizing this is not a good thing. Oh. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. <laughs> I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Where's the Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. We're having a nice little talk here. Why is the music so freaking menacing? I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. <laughs> oh, we're already starting with the romance here, but I, I, I don't know. We're exploring this cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Aw. That was nice. Is there any, anything more? Because it forgot to walk around the last time. Maybe he has... Yeah, okay, hi. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Like the sarcasm. Oh, our crew. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get yeah. along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax, my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go... Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. 
I'd hate to see her off book. I, 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 I... By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's a spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Kello? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? <laughs> not, not really. I would like to investigate more. Probably you don't want to talk about him. I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for him. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. What's your social circle like? Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Ooh, I don't remember who he's referring to, so I'm looking forward to that. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Hasn't everyone? Well then you know, it's super tough. <laughs> Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. <laughs> maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Uh. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. I agree. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. So sad that I don't want to continue talking to you, Rigers. Now it's really nice. Again, I like everyone on my ship. Everyone. How do I get down here? Oh yeah, there was a lift. Let me use the lift. Did I use the lift now? I used the lift. Was all ringing down here? Uh, Vetra, definitely. I just not one percent sure. Maybe this is a room. Pathfinder, help me with something. I know, not exactly standard. Gonna make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Where did you find a carriage? Is this a... <laughs> yeah, I like worried both of them, but this is so... Where the fuck did you find a couch here? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? <laughs> and after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets. Or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I put it behind me after Dad's work went sour. It was a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. <laughs> I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. And when that ended, well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. 
We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. But keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Oh. Uh, and even more, in fact. Like, something I didn't ask you. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started, Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Ooh, oh, okay, that's very blunt. Uh, about you? You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. You just told you right. a lot of stuff. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin, both lawyers, met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. Oh. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Traditional is a weird term for family, like normal. Who's that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep to tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. Hmm. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. Fair and that enough. led me here. We'll talk later. I know it. Wasn't there anything else? I mean, we're gonna talk to him again, so... I've only had a chance to say goodbye now. And I really would like to talk at least to a few more people. It's getting so late and I'm getting so tired. Who's living here? You must be Wefra. Or I'll it's talk. Cora. I'm not so sure. Once oh, again. hey, Pathfinder. Ah, okay. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. <laughs> Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo, gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> so I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. <laughs> always, always these. <laughs> Flirty flirts. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. I like we that. all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Mm -hmm. Or maybe now? Because I know I still have to talk to th things about you. <laughs> Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> Someone had to know. Maybe they just didn't tell us. Did your father? I'm not sure. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. 
You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. <coughs> oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. <coughs> Pardon? I'm not even talking. Okay, you talking, I'm drinking. N not that talking. For fuck's sake, you really have to be careful what you're saying here. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. <coughs> For fuck's sake! You know what? Ah! We're only halfway through with the group. If anything, maybe there are even more than, than, than the half left of it. And my throat apparently wants me to stab, so I will stop here. Down here, I have no idea where to go next. I mean, there are still a bunch of people hanging around somewhere. I just don't know where somewhere is. This is something we have to figure out the next time, Dan.